Hello everyone, my name is Ganesh Vishnu Gadge and I am here to give a presentation on electromagnetic thruster under the guidance of the Professor Yuras sir. Now let's see what is the electromagnetic thruster. Electromagnetic thruster accelerates the ionized the propellant through either self-induced or applied magnetic field. The force expressed by the Lohner's law which is given as the FL is equal to I into L into B where I is the current induced, L is the length of the channel and B is the magnetic field. The high uh, electric currents need to generate thrust requires high power levels, uh, turns up to uh, kilowatt up to megawatt or pulse regeneration with the uh, wave capacitors. Electromagnetic thruster can be classified into three types magnetoplasma dynamic uh, thruster that is MPD thruster, pulsed plasma thruster that is PPD thruster, and the variable ISP plasma rocket that is VASIMR. Now let's see the, what is the magnetoplasma dynamic that is MPD thruster. In MPD, uh, main, uh, magnetoplasma dynamic MPD thruster or a lunar force accelerator LFA, a high current discharge a kilo ampere uh, uh, less than 100 volts is applied between two coaxial electrodes. The discharge ionizes the propellant, uh, propellant flowing through the electronic compression. A variety of non-oxidizing propellant. Uh, can be used such as hydrogen, hydrogen, organ, and even alkali metals like lithium. The current generates as a self-induced radial magnetic field that interacts with the current as shown in the animation, resulting <coughs> the lunar force acceleration that is thrust scale up to the I square that is the uh, ampere uh, voltage square. The coaxial component generates the thrust and the radial component increases the pressure towards the central line. The propellant flow and the thermal gas expansion Temperature higher than the 2500, uh, 2500 degrees Celsius also contribute to the thrust but are usually at least one order of a magnitude below the magnetic acceleration. This principle is called as self filled MPD thruster. An additional external uh, magnetic field can be added. Uh, permanent magnetic coils or uh, magnet or coils around the anode to increase the performance, which is also known as the applied magnetic field MPD thruster. MPD thruster can generate a high thrust up to 200 Newton and can transist to very high power levels at a specific impulse of 8000 8, second. The higher the power, the better the efficiency, which is typically around 35% to the and can be increased up to 75%. The performance characteristics make MPD thruster very attractive for manned mission. Obviously, these are the high power requirements can only meet in a combination with the nuclear power plants. Also, ground testing is very difficult. One of the few test centers with the vacuum facilities are as available uh, as power for a power continuation operation of MPD thruster in the Institute of Space uh, System at the University of Surugat in Germany. Germany. The many uh, other research institutes use an MPD thruster in a pulsed operation with a large capacitor bank. The cathode erosion is one of the major lifetime life, life limitation factor. However, being developed since 1960s, MPD thruster have already demonstrated lifetimes in excess of the 1000 hours. Uh, a pulsed MPD thruster was successfully flown by a Japanese institute of space and Astronautical, Astro Astronautical science, ISAS, in 1997. The research on this thruster is currently being carried out by a NASA, JPL, uh, uh, Princeton Universities, and several Russian institutes such, uh, such as the Moscow Aviation Institute and European and Japanese laboratory. Now coming on to the pulsed plasma thruster, a pulsed plasma thruster is a very simple uh, electronic propulsion thruster, a solid propellant bar, usually teflon, fills the gap between the two electrodes connected to a capacitor bank. The spark triggers an electrical discharge across the surface of the propellant. The heat transfer from the discharge absolute parts of the propellant and ionizes it. The ion of the propellant is then accelerated by the electronic field as similar to the MPD thruster. A simple uh, spring advances the bar actually for the propellant resupply as shown in the animation. Uh, one shot uh, uh, one shot a thrust of uh, 10 to 100 of the micro uh, newton. The thruster usually operates at a frequency of 1 to 3 hertz. A PPD thruster has a several advantages like zero warm up time and a zero standby power. No propellant tanks at feed lines uh, and most probably uh, notably it is a very cheap due to the simple design the main disadvantage is very small uh, efficiency between 5 to 15 percent a ppd thruster was successfully found on a soviet uh, zone 2 prescribed towards mars 
as early as uh, 1964 several applications followed in the united states presently pp uh, presently ppd thrusters are under evaluation for a fine altitude and the uh, position control for uh, formation flying satellite on account of their small impulsive bit capability now coming on to the variable isp plasma rocket that is vasimr a plasma rocket uses a magnetic field to combine a plasma and electromagnetic energy to heat it in a vasmr concept hydrogen is ionized and injected into the main chamber by a magnetoplasma dynamic that is mpt device uh, the magnetic field isolates the plasma and the chamber walls so that the temperature can exceed the material melting limit and therefore reach very high specific impulse in the main chamber electron and ion uh, cyclotron heating is way used by applying the resonant radio frequency rf field to heat the plasma which is then expelled through the magnetic nozzle hydrogen propellant can be injected into the plasma uh, exhaust for a cooling purpose the magnetic nozzle uh, can uh, control th control the thrust by varying the uh, nozzle intersection on the other hand, the specific impulse can be varied by changing the RF heating power to, uh, from 3000 to 13000 seconds. This enables to change the thrust and the specific impulse independently by, uh, of each other and enables the performance to be tolerated at a specific mission. Work on the VSR concept was uh, conducted at a MIT Plasma Fusion Center in early 1980s and it is presently going on to the Advanced Space Propulsion Laboratory, NASA's uh, Johns Space Center. A small-scale VSR prototype is scheduled to be tested on board International Space Station to uh, verify the performance parameter. The characterization of electromagnetic thrust work can be done as follows for a, thrust, for a two thrust mode, steady state and pulsed. And the magnetic field source can be uh, for a steady state it is an external coil or a permanent magnet and for a pulsed it is a self-induced. The electric current source for a steady state is a direct current supply and for a pulsed it is a capacitor bank and a fast switches. The working fluid for a steady state is pure gas mixture, cedar gas or a vaporized liquid and that uh, is pulsed up for it is a pure gas or a stored gas solid. Geometry of path of the working fluid for a steady state is axiometric, uh, coaxial, rectangular, cylindrical, constant or variable cross section and but for a pulsed it is axisymmetric, uh, ablating plug, uh, plug, SM and other. Uh, for the special feature of the steady state are uh, using a hall current or the fed rate current and the, while the pulse uh, mode thrust mode increase uses a simple requirement for a propellant storage that's it for the, uh, this topic thank you